Hey there, YouTube. It's Nikki. Um, so I wasn't able to make a video last week, uh, but um, so this is kind of two weeks worth of a video. Um, so I've got some cool news, some non-scale victories, um, but let's get down to the numbers. Okay, so last week, and I'm actually on YouTube right now. Um, looking at my information because if you guys watch my videos for any length of time you know that I am crappy with numbers and stuff. Okay. So week 15, which was last week, I didn't make a video, I was 233, which was four pounds down. And as of today, I am 231, so I'm two pounds down from that. So I'm um, super stoked about that. I am almost in the 220s. It's funny because I would watch videos um, of other people and they would say, God, I can't wait until I'm in the, you know, whatever's the, the 10 pound range, you know. I feel like I've been in the 230s for so long and it's true. Uh, you know, when I was in the 240s, I thought, God, and now in the 230s, I'm thinking, please, the 220s, you know. Um, so anyways, I'm pretty stoked about that. Um, a couple of things. Uh, first off, I, uh, with a friend of mine, went and bought some shorts on Saturday. They were a size 16 women's. Um, I'm pretty stoked about that. And they fit perfectly, like they're not too little or anything. So, I'm really pleased with that. Um, also, let's see what else. Oh, sorry, the trash people are outside, so you're going to hear all kinds of... They can never be quiet, can they? It's like the loudest thing in the world. Um, okay, so I went and got my hair cut, um, just trimmed up, and I got highlights put in it. I don't know if you can see the highlights or not. But anyways, got highlights done um, fr last Friday, so five days ago. And previously when I had my, you know, was getting my hair done, I would want a shorter, oh, sorry, yawning. I would want a shorter cut, and they would say, oh, no, you shouldn't do that. And I'm like, just cut my dang hair. Uh, well, your face is too round. Okay, we'll just cut my dang hair. I mean, they don't have to live with it day to day. I understand they're trying to, you know, be nice and help me out and stuff. But they're like, oh, it makes your double chin look big, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm 300 pounds. Um, you know, the best hairstylist in the world could do my hair. And my hair and my face would still look fat. So, whatever. Um, so, I told her how I wanted it trimmed up and everything. And she's like... Oh, that'll be so cute for your face shape. Your oval face shape. Folks, oval? I have had a round, what my dad has previously called basketball shaped head, or bowling ball shaped head, for years. So, whew, sorry. <laughs> so, for somebody to say I have an oval shape and they weren't fussing about cutting my hair this short um I've I'm just beyond stoked um also I've noticed people looking at me but not like they used to um it was different before I'd have people look at me and they'd have like this disgusted look on their face um, no matter what, how cute my clothes were, which they weren't very cute, by the way, because I got to a point where, unless I was, you know, going to Lane Bryan or something, which they're really expensive. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> you guys know I yawn every time I make a video. I won't yawn all day till I'm on a video, doing a video. Um, you know, but Lane Bryan clothes are really expensive, and, you know, I'm not buying... $40, 50 $60 jeans all the time 
especially when I was bigger and I didn't feel comfortable in my body anyways. Well, now I can shop at, you know, Target and Old Navy and stuff and it, you know, their clothes look okay on me. They, you know, I look cute. So folks would stare at me when I was bigger and discussed looks and faces and, you know, and it would piss me off sometimes. So I would just look at them and say, can I help you? Um, I'm, I'm typically not a very bold person, but that used to just, I got to a point where it didn't hurt my feelings anymore. It just pissed me off. So, you know, I'm like, what are you looking at? And then they'd say, oh, you know, walk away or whatever. Now I have people looking at me and I look at them and they're like, I'm sorry to be staring. I really like your top. And I'm like, that's all right. Thanks for the compliment. Or uh, my hair isn't done right now. I can't work with it wet. So it's not, I mean, it's not cute by any means right now. Um, but people would say, oh, your hair is so cute. Or um, they would just compliment me and stuff. And that was cool. I really like that a lot. Also, I know this might sound kind of crazy, but I like not always being the biggest person wherever I am. At 307 pounds, I was the biggest person in the room. Sometimes in like an entire restaurant. Yeah, I'd be the biggest person there. It would suck, and my husband would feel more comfortable in a booth, and I'd slide in a booth and feel like the table was squishing against my stomach, and it was uncomfortable and stuff, and now I can sit anywhere. I'm like, wherever. doesn't matter. I slide in a booth. I got a ton of room, and it's so cool. So, whew, sorry. Um, I like not being the biggest person everywhere that I go. Also, on Saturday, I kind of went to like this little fair thing. Okay, last year I went to the state fair. I made a video about it. Um, I don't remember. I think it was maybe September or October-ish, somewhere around there. I made a video. I went to the to the state fair when it was in town and there was a ride that I wanted to ride on and I wasn't allowed to ride on the ride. Um, so that was upsetting, to say the very least, that was upsetting. Um, because I was too fat and the guy was really rude about it and it really hurt my feelings and embarrassed me in front of a lot of people because I was already up on the ride and it wouldn't go. So, um, went and rode a ride on Saturday, buckled just fine, clipped just fine, everything was just fine. No issues at all. It was fantastic. I adored the fact that I could ride a ride at the fair and not have an issue. Now granted the ride scared the crap out of me. It was called the Wipeout. Oh my gosh, me and a girlfriend of mine, we thought we were going to like fall out of the ride. <laughs> we were facing each other. I was going backwards and she was going forwards and we're doing this, you know. Oh my god, it scared us so bad. We thought, shit, we're just going to fly right out of thing. <laughs> I was looking at her face thinking, oh crap, I think she's going to cry. She was looking at my face thinking, oh crap, I think she's going to throw up. <laughs> By the way, ever since surgery, I've actually not been able to to throw up. Like, I don't have that ability. Uh, if something gets stuck, it comes back up, but it's not throwing up. Whew. Sorry, it's not the same thing. It's just I just lean over and the whatever was stuck just falls out of my mouth. It's kind of gross. Sorry. Um, but anyways, yeah, I can't throw up. She's like, I was so worried you're going to throw up. And I'm like, don't worry about that. I can't throw up. Because, like, in 
like half an hour before we rode the ride, I had I ate a hot dog um, without the bun. It's hard to find food you can eat at the fair. I mean, a turkey leg, like, I can't, God, I couldn't eat one of those before surgery. I can't eat one now. Um, so anyways, I was able to ride the ride, which was very cool. Um, I've gotten some compliments um, about, uh, like yesterday I got a compliment from my boss. I had a strapless dress on, and he said, I can really tell you losing the weight in your shoulders and your arms and your chest and your face. And I'm like, fantastic. That's cool, you know. Um, and today I came in, I had this shirt on. I haven't worn it. I actually wore the shirt to my grandfather's funeral, um, but I haven't worn it since, and that's been about a month or so ago. And it's a little looser on me now than it was when I first bought it, so that's cool. Actually, my sister bought it for me. Um, but anyways, I digress. Um, he says, you go and shopping in your closet? I haven't seen you wear that before. And he's a gastric bypass patient, too, so he understands all about the whole shopping in your closet thing, you know, stuff you never thought you could wear again, and now you're wearing your shopping in your closet. Um, and I said, no, no, I'm not shopping in my closet. I um, actually had to buy this because all the small clothes that I've been saving in my closet are now all too big for me. Um, so I have to shop now, which is fun, but also a little taxing on my wallet. I need to kind of rein that in a little bit. Uh, I'm only really buying things as I feel that I need them. So I'm going to have to buy some underwear here really soon because my panties seem like they're just, they're just like five sizes too big. And I'm still wearing them and they're hanging off of me. Um, so anyways, uh, what else? There's been a lot going on recently. Um, oh, Banded Pandy told me on Facebook um, that I was looking slimmer. And that was so cool. She made my day. So, Pam, if you're watching, thank you so, 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 so much. Um, God, you made my day. You just made me feel so good. And I really, really appreciate it a lot. Um, you know, you're doing so well, too. And, and i got to tell you, like, all my friends here on YouTube and on Facebook, you know, just, just as a group, as a whole, I'm really proud of us, right? Like, aren't you guys really proud of us? Um, I just love the fact that we, we had a goal. We did what we needed to, to to get to our goal, and we're still working on what we need to, you know, to get to our goal. I've got a long ways to go, people. Um, so my highest weight is 307, and I'm 231 today. So that is 76 pounds down from highest weight. Surgery day, I was 282. So I am 51 pounds down in um, June the 2nd will be, so a week from tomorrow, will be four months post-op for me. So 51 pounds in four months, I'm happy. I'm stoked about that. That is, that's wild to me. Like, I, I can't wrap my head around it. Um, but my goal weight, you know, is 145. Um, and I'm, I'm like five, seven and a half. So I'm 231 right now, bow weight of 145. I still have 86 pounds to go. So I'm not even at a halfway point yet. Um, but you know what? It's It seems attainable now. Um, I've lost 25% of my body weight. It just seems attainable now which is just so cool because before it just seemed so far away, it seemed so unattainable. Um, so pretty much that's kind of where I'm at with that. Also, um, I was looking at Tom's video, uh, Philly Tomcat, and he was talking about who is he. 
Well, I'll give you a little bit of information on me. Um, on June the 12th, I will be 30 years old. And I, I really wanted to be below 200 by my birthday. I don't see that happening, obviously, I'm 231. But to at least be in the 220s by my 30th birthday, it's going to be very cool. Because the last time I was in the 220s was about 10 years ago. Um, so it'd be very cool. Um, also, um, I'm a wife. I have been married um, to my husband since 2005. Um, so this year we'll be married six years. Um, together seven. We were together a year before we got married. Um, and I'm a sister and a daughter. I have a close relationship with my parents who are still married themselves. Uh, my sister is seven years younger than I am. Um, so there's a large difference there, but we are very, very close and I love my sister um, dearly. Just she is probably my best friend. Um, my other really fantastic friends here in town, uh, I really only have just a few. I don't surround myself with people that I think are fake or want something out of me. I try to surround myself with people that actually give a crap about me. Um, I'm an office manager. As a matter of fact, I think all but maybe two or three videos of me, uh, aside from my hospital videos, have been me here in my office. I work by myself. I sit by myself in an office for nine hours a day. Um, if I talk to anybody, most of the time it's over the phone or via email. Um, I am typically a shy person unless I have a little bit of alcohol in me. Um, and I don't drink that often. However, I have noticed that I can have wine and not dump. So wine is now my alcohol of choice. I actually like a Scuppernong wine. If you guys don't know what Scuppernong is, write me a note and I'll let you know. Um, so let's see what else. Oh, I love movies. I love horror movies. I love kind of all things Halloween and scary. Um, I have been a member of um, a ghost hunting group. Also, I am a Christian. Um, and I've studied a lot in the uh, demonology field, um, not the worship of demons, but the understanding of demons and their, um, their part in spiritual warfare and how to handle them as a Christian. Um, so if that's funny for a loop, okay, I can understand. Um, also, I love to sing. I, I love to sing Christian music. Um, I would love if there was a place near I live to sing or people to jam with. Unfortunately, I don't know anybody. Um, if you want to hear me sing, let me know down below and I can send you a link to a song that I recorded for my grandfather's funeral uh, last month. Because um, I, I didn't sing live there, but uh, they played a recording of me singing that uh, I couldn't make it through the funeral um, singing. So, um, I'm I'm not a mom. I don't have any kids. It's not for a lack of trying. Uh, I've been trying to have kids for six years now, um, and gastric bypass was a way to help my um, PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome that I suffer with. Um, I know that some folks in the community um, did not have PCOS prior to having the surgery and now has PCOS. Um, mine actually is the other way around. I had it and now I no longer have it. 
Um, and what it means is, is I'm able to have normal periods and all that lady stuff is working the way it's supposed to now. So um, once I'm a year to 18 months out, we're going to start trying. So um, cross fingers, say a few prayers, send me your happy energy. Um, in another um, another nine months or so, and, and we'll see if I don't get to be a mommy. Um, in the meantime, I have four beautiful dogs <laughs> um, that are the light of my life, and I absolutely adore them and cherish them. Um, and I adore and, and cherish my husband and and being so steadfast and loving through all of this. Because um, it's a lot on our families, you know. We deal a lot too, but but our families, especially those that are not um, WLS patients themselves, there's a lot that they have to deal with. So my husband is pretty fantastic in that way. Um... Oh, I sat in stadium seats, had plenty of room, and I sat in movie theater seats, had plenty of room. That's a first for me, also. I have just gone on and on and on, and I'm normally the short video girl, so that is me. That's who I am. Um, I stick to what I know. I, I stick to people that are friendly to me. I don't typically go out of my way to talk to folks, even if I do recognize them. I, I may make eye contact and wave. I'm not being hateful. I just get super nervous and I have anxiety about that. Um, but folks that have met me in person and are my friends, they can tell you that once I know you and and We've had some time to share conversations and experiences. I'm a very loyal friend. Um, I don't care what you look like. I don't care what race you are. I don't care what sex you are. I don't. I don't care about that stuff. Um, my love comes from Christ, and I love my friends. Um, and I'm really appreciative that I have them. And I'm really appreciative that I have all of you guys as my subscribers, um, because I count you as I count you as friends. Um, so, anyways, if you're watching and you're not a subscriber and you're interested in learning more about me, subscribe above. I gotta get this phone call. Take it easy, guys. Bye.